believe that the most promising areas for treatment of visual snow have to do with rehabilitation. In the past, they have tried various types of drugs. Some of them were antidepressants, anticonvulsants, anti-migraine, and they were largely ineffective and many times had a great deal of side effects. So I don't feel like that's the area that's gonna be the most promising. I feel as though neuro-optometric rehabilitation can be a great help in lessening the severity of visual snow syndrome. Another would be, um, I've had patients who've had good success with mindfulness, meditation, and mental health counseling to reduce the anxiety components, which also tend to reduce the severity of the symptoms in visual snow syndrome. Five or 10 years ago, there was so few people who had any awareness of what visual snow syndrome was. And one of the, the great things is the work that Visual Snow Initiative has done is created a much greater awareness. So now, many more people understand and know about the condition, which brings us to the next level, which is what can we do about it? How can we treat it effectively? There first needs to be awareness, and that's what's very different now, and still needs to be improved, but that's what's different now than it was five or 10 years ago.